In a hundred days, Europeans go to the polls, and this time will be different. Migration, Brexit and social networks have radically changed the public debate about what Europe can, should and must do or not. The debate led to populists mushrooming all across the continent, weakening the existing political architecture. We will see a bigger fragmentation of the parliament, so the big two groups will become smaller and the smaller groups will become bigger. That means it will be much harder to make coalitions and majorities. In the next parliament you'll have to have more people at the table to reach a majority. The new chamber is poised to look like nothing ever seen before. There's the risk that anti-European parties could gain a paralyzing minority status that could potentially energize the political debate over Europe. I would expect the turnout to be bigger this time because Europe has been much of a more salient subject in the agendas on the member states, brought both by the Eurosceptics and by the pro-Europeans. Uh, there have been a lot of crises dealt with by the European Union. The public knows this and maybe some of them liked it, some, some of the citizens didn't like it, but at least they have a view. Europe's political landscape has profoundly changed over the past legislative term. Norm breakers are challenging the gatekeepers of tradition and stability. Did everybody play it by the rules? People are aware of disinformation campaigns in the past, says the EU Parliament's spokesman. I think European citizens have been flooded with very bad information through digital platforms and the like, but they are aware of it. Now we need to get back to normal sources of information provided by professional media. Yet there is the darkness of the cyberspace, with potentially new disinformation and election meddling coming our way. This time may be different, but we've seen it all before. Stefan Grobe, Euronews, Brussels. I'm Ines Andrews and I'm from France and England. I'll be voting for the first time because I think it's not only a right but also a privilege. Um, and also I think the European elections are important for me, being binational and li having lived in different European countries. When I vote I'll be thinking about my future and everyone around me's future and the world because it lays in our hand. And recently at the climate change march I realised that mostly everyone was below the age of 18, meaning that they wouldn't be able to have the chance to have their voices heard. And I think that's really important because they were at the march and they have strong opinions on the matter. So I also want to be a voice for them and be able to vote for them. I want Europe to look like a place where people can express their opinions and their concerns freely and also be able to be a place which influences change, positive changes around the world. I think politicians should be more action, less talk, because, um, meaning that they should be more aware and caring of everything around them because they were voted for a reason and so they should be able to fill that fulfill that purpose.